Hi, thanks for coming back. It's Matt here again with MyWebBro.com, and today I'm really happy to dive right into one of my favorite integrations, <clears throat> uh, e-commerce integrations. It's the bold integration for subscriptions and recurring billing, and also for product bundling through the Shopify platform. So Shopify is becoming one of the most popular e-commerce e platforms I think on the planet and it's for good reason. There's a lot of support, there are a lot of third-party um, um, applications that you can integrate into that into that platform to get the functionality that you desire and it's very and it's very interesting different business models require very different e-commerce functionality to generate uh, the most revenue out of those page visits so you know you could sell teddy bears you could sell coffee you could sell car washes and you could sell them all through an e-commerce platform but you're going to need very different functionality and so when you buy Shopify, I think it only takes a few moments to realize what kind of customization you're going to need um, um, to to create that funnel where where people actually complete orders and end up sending you money. So let's dive right in. The integration I'm going to show you is this traffic is our jam integration. So the first thing I want to show you is what do we mean when we say monthly or subscription or recurring billing. So right here, this is a service offered on this website. Um, local organic SEO monthly services and right here you see the price and right here it says monthly services will renew every one month so when you add that to your cart oh I've got another one in there so you add that to your cart and right there you see that service is in my cart 199 delivered every month well as an e-commerce uh, business owner that's not the end of that transaction. We need to complete this order and then billing needs to reoccur every, in this case, every 30 days. So the way we handle that integration through Shopify is with this application right here. It's called Bold Subscriptions. And this application is a wonderful, wonderful, let me actually click on it so you can see their page here. This application is a wonderful way um, for $30 a month, I think that's the, yeah, I'm at the level $30 a month. It's a great way to add reoccurring billing to your account. Um, you're going to need to add a third party payment processor to use this application um, because the Shopify, um, the default payment processor through Shopify doesn't handle the subscriptions, the reoccurring billing part, but it's simple enough, you guys. So I'm going to walk you through this right now. Um, here's your Shopify dashboard. You go into the app section, download the app, install it. Once it's installed, it's got its own dashboard. So in the dashboard, you're going to see a series of options. And while that's loading, let me show you something. The other thing you need is you need this account with either Stripe or Authorize.net, one of these third-party processors. And all you're going to do is go to Stripe.com, create an account, put your information in, confirm your account. It, it, the application process takes a, takes moments. And then you're going to have your Stripe account. You're sitting in your dashboard like this, and there's going to be a place here in settings where you can go, and what you do is you go to authorized applications, and you just you're going to find a list of applications that Stripe links right up with, and just just authorize this application to communicate with your Shopify store. It's that simple. Because once you're in your um, once you're in your Shopify store, the dashboard here. Um, will communicate directly with that Stripe dashboard. That integration is very smooth. It's it is scary how smooth that integration is. And then once you're in your your bold reoccurring orders and subscription application on your Shopify store, there's just some very simple settings that you'll go in and you'll set up. Um, it's very, it's simple enough stuff that I'm not even going to bother talking about it. But the actual configuration of subscriptions can be found right here. You go to my subscriptions. And right here, you'll find that they call them subscription groups. Very easy to configure, though. Okay, so what you're going to do is, I, I can see here, one, two, three, four, five subscription groups. And, and, and that I can edit them, I can turn them on and off, right? So let's go ahead and let's, let's, let's create one from scratch is what I want to do with you. So we go in here, we go to create subscription group. Now, what are we going to call a subscription group? Um, let's call it, um, let's call it, um... Uh, we'll call it uh, monthly. Yeah, we'll call it. Yeah, let's call it monthly maintenance plans. Okay, so we're just I'm duplicating work that we've already completed. But now, first thing you're gonna do is select the products, um, the product 
that you're offering the subscription on. So allowing swapping of products makes it so that somebody who's already in a subscription can go and log back into your website and change a subscription on the fly. Very cool option. And I'm going to go ahead and check yes, and I'm going to select a product. So what did we say we're going to create? Monthly maintenance plans. So let's do that. Let's choose the monthly maintenance plans right here. Add that. Now it's added. Okay. Very good. And continue. Now I've just chose that product. That's the one I want to create for um, recurring billing. Select the interval. And I want to, you can either have the customer select interval or select yourself. I'm going to select it myself and I'm going to make it every one month. And that's the way I want to do it. So on the purchase date each month. Then reoccurring options, I want to offer subscription only. I don't want it to be a one time purchase. I want subscription only. Now, no maximum number of reoccurring orders, but I don't want people to be able to cancel until they've completed three orders. Okay, I don't want people to be able to cancel until three orders have been completed. So let's do that. Now we'll go here and I'm not going to offer a discount. So I save that. Now check it out. What I just did right there was I just created this and here I'll go to it now. I just created this subscription. It's wonderful. Um, where is it? Let's see, where is it? Do, 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 do. Let's go right here. Yeah, and here it is. So I just created this subscription right here. Okay, where, where right here you're going to see maintenance plans, monthly services, and that this service will renew every one month, and I can add it to my cart. So cool. So it all happens in the back in the liquid... Um, in the liquid code, but it's all happening right here before your eyes. And you can see now that I've got these two things in my shopping cart and we can go ahead and close that out. So that was it, you guys. I just very quickly walked you through the whole thing where you are installing the application, you're connecting it to Stripe, and then you go ahead and you build the subscription. And when you build the subscription, you end up with that functionality. Then later on, when people are starting to subscribe, you're going to end up in this dashboard here, and you're going to have all the revenue and all the people signing up and all the recurring billing. And it's all in here. It's all awesome, but that's a whole separate video. So now let's very, very quickly talk about how to bundle stuff. Because I think the very next important thing, uh, the very first thing that's important to an e-commerce business owner after actually posting product is bundling product. I mean, it's the best way, I think, to get your customers interested. And right here is an example. On this product listing, you can see they can buy the product or they can complete get this complete local business package when they bundle everything they need. So you get one, two, three, four, five products in the bundle and a 25% discount. This functionality to bundle products is very, very powerful, you guys. And let me show you when you add that bundle to cart what it looks like. Okay, it looks great. It's added to the cart, the discount is applied. Watch what happens when I remove one item. When I remove one item, all the discounts go away for all the products, see that? All the discounts went away for all the products when I removed one product from the bundle. So it's really cool functionality and it's very simple to implement. You go to the bold, or sorry, you go to the app store and it's called bold, where are you? It's called bold bundles right here. And so you'll buy bold bundles and you'll walk through the uh, installation process. When you've installed bold bundles, it looks a lot like bold subscriptions. This is the dashboard and these are the bundles. And what you'll do is you'll just go right here to product bundles and you'll create a new product bundle. And let me just show you what that looks like. Create new, what kind? And there's three different kinds. It's really cool. You can do buy one, get one free offers, collection based bundles or products together at a discount. That's what I like to do. I like to do products together at a discount. And so here you just start choosing the products. What products do I want to bundle together? You know, it's really, really very, very cool. And now all your products will be listed here and you could just literally, you could just, just decide that you want to bundle these products together. Save your selection. There they are. What discount do I want to offer these at? Let's offer them at a 30% discount, right? And there you go. Then what do I want to call that budget? So I'm, I'm going to call this um, um, add all three for 25% off, right? So, you know, that's, that's the name of the bundle. And it's really cool, man. And this is a percent saved bundle. Anyway. Once you've got these things installed, messing around with them is really the fun part as a business owner. So when you're looking for new ways 
to drive revenue to your uh, in your e-commerce store, things like subscriptions and bundles and upsells, these things become a no-brainer, just like they should in any business. And then integrating them and implementing them is, I think, about as easy as it gets. There is much harder things to do in web development than integrating bold applications. So don't be too intimidated, but if you need help, reach out to a professional who'll be happy to help you. So you guys, that was a lot of fun talking about bold subscriptions and talking about bold bundles. And uh, I really appreciate you came and check it out. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, click the subscribe button. You can check me out on Facebook, you can find me on LinkedIn. My WordPress development agency is called daswow.com and pretty soon here you can go to trafficisourjam.com and order all of your internet marketing services right on, our, right on that e-commerce platform that I just showed you. So thank you so much, have a great day, it was good to see you, bye.